So this is going to be my video journal of manifestation, my law of assumption, the law of attraction, everything. I don't even know what I'm going to call it. If I'm going to call it my manifestation journal, my law of assumption journal, maybe I'll just title all of it the same. Regardless, I've just been noticing, I've been seeing these videos on YouTube, on TikTok, on Instagram, everywhere, literally everywhere just about this. I've always heard of manifestation. I've always heard of law of attraction somewhat, but never really been into it much. And recently it's just been everything I see for some reason. Like I go on Instagram, I don't even see anything but that and like business stuff. And so I feel like over the past three, four months, it's been getting ingrained in my mind just subconsciously. I don't even think about, oh yeah, I need to think every day and attract this and manifest this every single morning. It's just like by watching the video subconsciously, it's getting in my head because I've been noticing every day. It's like if something bad goes wrong or something bad just happens or if a plan goes to shit, I don't even worry about it. I don't know why. I've always been, not to toot my own horn, I've always been somewhat patient, but it's like recently it's a different level because for example, my business, I have a car detailing business. If you're new to this channel or if you just don't know me much, I have a car detailing business. That's how I make my money. I dropped out of college to do that full time. Recently, a big thing I've been focusing on is doing ceramic coatings, which usually needs a shop or a garage. And so I didn't have the money to be in a shop yet. What happened is I was working out of my home garage and really just the whole, my whole life is this fucking story and how I, why I'm in this house right now. But regardless, I was working my home garage. I didn't know there were st really strict rules. The HOA are fucking ridiculous, but all of my neighbors were good with it, except for one lady in my cul-de-sac I'm looking at right now. She never came to me and talked to me about it. It was like, hey, I'm worried about the environment or your equipment's loud or anything. But the first month that I started doing really great in my business, I did nearly eight grand in one month. It was like March, I believe, I just did great. I get a letter one day, this neighbor ratted on me, a cease and desist letter. And so this is just an example of me having these goals of, hey, I wanna make 10 grand a month and I wanna start scaling this side of my business and I, it's, I'm hitting the goal and it's really there. Like I'm about to hit 10 grand, I'm at eight and I get a cease and desist and if I don't, really bad consequences, I'm gonna get fined a bunch of money and I could keep going but morally it's like I should just stop and maybe it's a sign to get into the shop but that's what I'm saying right now. I was so close, this close to hitting my goal, literally one or two more jobs and then this lady rats on me, the one neighbor in this entire cul-de-sac, there's like 10 houses here. She, she's like someone on the HOA or she knows someone on the HOA and rats me out, gets a cease and desist. And so this is an example of when I sat down, I was like, damn, this really, this really sucks. Like this is, this really fucking sucks. I was so close to hitting my goal, but kind of, just, it is what it is because at this point, it's like I was so close to hitting the goal and I was super sad that it wasn't gonna happen because of this. And then I didn't know what I was gonna do. I didn't have a shop. And at this point, I didn't have a van at all. So I, I couldn't work. I didn't know what I was gonna do. And that's what happened. It was kind of just like, it is what it is. This is literally a huge thing. I have bills, I have rent to pay, I have insurance to pay, whatever. And now I can't make money. And so I'm not sure how I handled it, but I believe that <laughs> by watching videos about these things, the law of attraction, the law of assumption specifically, I'd never heard about that before until literally right before this happened. It just got, got ingrained in my mind subconsciously that I am assuming greatness in my life no matter what happens. I get knocked down to a point where I'm making almost 10 grand in a single month, six to seven in profit, and then I get punched in the face to where I literally made $600 in April, like $200 profit, nearly nothing. But I'm still in the midst of just assuming greatness in my life, knowing that everything's gonna be perfectly fine. I knew, even though I didn't know what I was gonna do, 
subconsciously. I wasn't thinking like, oh, this is the law of assumption. I can practice this right now. It just happened. Subconsciously, my mind was just prepared for it. And it was just saying to me, everything's gonna be fine. It's gonna be perfectly fine. Don't worry. You do what you can do. Everything else is happening for a reason, which it did. I got that cease and desist. It kept me from working in my garage, keeping me comfortable working in just a home garage, which was fine. But now I'm at, in a better place. I have a, a mobile van for my business. I have a shop now, 1500 square foot shop to be able to grow in and scale in and take my business to new levels. And I believe that it happened for a reason, not only to enlighten my mind and give me a sense of enlightenment, but to be able to grow my business more. Because if that never happened, I believe I would still be way too comfortable and still be working in my garage. And so I'm not here making these videos to preach to you about how the law of attraction, all the laws of the universe and how manifestation and meditating every morning has changed my life. Because like I was just saying, I'm still at a low point right now, but I have it's not even that I have faith, it's just like I'm living in the existence of the reality that I'm going to be just fine. Like I know for a fact, everything's gonna be fine. I'm gonna be making way more than $10,000 a month. And I already know that because I was believing that before I got kicked out of this house. When I got kicked out of this house and now that I have a shop and a van. Regardless, I'm not here to preach to you about how it's changed my life already because it really hasn't. I believe it's changed my mind a lot. And so I'm really just here to journal my thoughts and everything going on in my head whenever I notice these laws and me practicing these laws subconsciously. It's not that I wake up in the morning I'm like, okay, I'm going to manifest. I'm going to assume greatness in my life, which I do now. I literally started just a couple days ago, but I'm not here to do that. I'm here to just journal my thoughts and the way that my brain is changing of practicing these laws in my everyday life and to see kind of journal for myself to see how it's changed my life. And so I can go back now and notice how I'm assuming certain things and I'm claiming greatness in my life. So that six months from now, I can look back and see, Hey, it's really happened. And another reason I want to do this is simply so that what I've noticed in my mind change can happen to yours too, because I believe that by watching the videos I watched, subconsciously changed my mind. And so I just hope that you can see this and hear me and understand that it can happen to you too. And I just want these lessons to be ingrained in your subconscious as well, the same way that it has been ingrained into my mind. And so this is really just the first episode of this journal, this video journal that I'm going to be doing on these laws of the universe and on manifestation in my life and how I'm practicing it, how I'm subconsciously practicing it. But really for today and for this episode, the lesson is to see opportunities and to see problems and conflicts as opportunities and to seize them and to not be hung up on the sadness that happens in life because you are the one that controls your mind. I firmly believe that we aren't humans. Like sure, you're looking at a body right now, but deep down, we're all just like souls. And we have the conscious, the subconscious to change our lives and that our fleshly body doesn't dictate how we live. Because if you wake up and you're like, damn, my life really sucks. I just got kicked out of my garage and I can't work in this neighborhood anymore. I'm gonna make no money and man, I'm really depressed now. You're gonna have a really shit day. You're gonna have a shit month. You're not gonna know what to do. But if you wake up, you're like, man, I just got kicked out of my garage in my situation. I don't know how I'm gonna make money this month. I don't know how I'm gonna pay rent, but I know it's gonna be taken care of. I believe in God, I have faith that it's gonna be taken care of no matter what. And in the end, I'm going to see this as an opportunity because I can see how I was getting comfortable, but this gives me a nudge to be forced to get into a shop. There's really no downside of getting into a shop if I believe in my business plan. So really being able to switch your mind in the way that you think and have your, your spirit take over your life rather than the worldly problems going on, 
you can really seize opportunities in a completely different way. And you can see opportunities in every way of life, everything that's happening in life. So that's really the lesson for today. So if you enjoy these yap sessions, because really that's all it is. I have my computer right here. I have some bulleted notes where I'm just living my life and I think of something. I'm like, oh, I want to talk about that. Um, but if you like these yap sessions of me just ranting about my thoughts and how these things are slowly changing my mind and my life, consider subscribing because I plan on posting these once a week. Maybe I'll start posting once a day. I'm not really going to be on a schedule. It's just going to be whenever I have a feeling to record and to post a lesson or something about these laws of the universe that have changed my mind, I'm going to post it. So regardless if it's a 15, 20 minute video like this, I don't know how long it's going to be after I edit it, or if it's literally a two minute YouTube video that I post of just one singular thought yapping about it for two minutes and posting it. If that's something that you want to see, obviously do whatever you want. Subscribe, turn on the notifications, like this so that it shows up in your algorithm on YouTube. And so besides all that, specifically towards this video journal, the rest of this YouTube channel is just going to be me, kind of my lifestyle and what I do. But a lot of business videos, I plan on making a, a journey series of building my business to $50,000. And that's something that I'm claiming in my life. I already am living the reality of making $50,000 a month profit. And so, no, I'm not making that right now, but that's what the journey series is going to be for, is to track my steps and to also help you guys out. If you have a business or a car detailing business specifically, same as me, you can watch those, you can do what I'm doing and implement what I implement into your own business, whether it's landscaping or car detailing and grow in the same way that I'm going to, because I have a business plan, it's aggressive, and I know for a fact I'm gonna make $50,000 in a month. Then, like I said, along with all that, just lifestyle videos, things going on in my life, I'm gonna be posting on Instagram and TikTok and YouTube shorts, short clips of these videos with specific lessons, really just to expand my personal brand. And if you wanna talk about anything, DM me on Instagram. I'm pretty sure it's linked to my YouTube. Um, and yeah, see you in the next video.